Hello everyone, welcome to this virtual class and of course, welcome to this YouTube channel, Matt and Me. So again, I am your teacher, Mom Ike Sadonis, and today we're going to tackle the scales of measurement or levels of measurement. Selection of appropriate statistical tool depends in part on the level or scale of measurement, and that was used to measure the variable. So these four levels of measurement will help you in determining what statistical tool to use in your research study or in your thesis or dissertation. So again, the four levels or scales of measurement are nominal, ordinal, interval, and then ratio level. So let's discuss it one by one. Let's have first nominal scale or nominal level. So a nominal scale uses mutually exclusive categories or groups that differ from each other. When we say mutually exclusive, they cannot be combined. So they are unique. So they are mutually exclusive. Next, they are qualitative because they have no numerical or quantitative properties. So there is no numerical value. They are just qualitative data. Another, the levels of nominal variable simply represent the name for each group. So, again, in nominal scale, the variable or the level of variable only represent the name or the categories of the variable. So, numerical values may be assigned to the categories, but you have to take note that they can only serve as an ident identification purpose and cannot be used for arithmetic comparison. So the numerical values, again, can only be assigned to categories to serve as an identification purpose but cannot be used for comparison. So as you can see here in this pie chart, the question is, what is your favorite color? So the categories are the different colors such as blue, yellow, red, and green. So 8%, 31%, 16%, and 45% are numerical values only assigned to serve as an identification purpose, but it is not used for comparison, okay? So that is for nominal scale or nominal level of measurement. So to understand it more, I have here the key characteristics of nominal data. First, nominal data cannot be quantified and cannot be assigned to any type of order. So you cannot rank or order the nominal data. Second, the values of nominal data are only allocated to distinct categories. So they are just categorized but not measured. And third, those categories have no meaningful order. So again, nominal data or nominal variables cannot be categorized, I cannot be ordered simply categorize okay so these are the examples of nominal data so we have the gender so we can categorize the group of people by gender so we can categorize them as women or men hair color we can also categorize the people by its hair color like bland brown brunei and black and so others the housing style, the marital status. You can categorize a person by its marital, by his or her marital status, like married, single, widowed, separated, or whatsoever, and by ethnicity, like Hispanic, Asian, European, American, and the likes. 
So that is for nominal data. So I have a question. Do you think the license number is a nominal data? So if you can answer my question, please write your answer in the comment section of this video. So do you think nominal data uh, license number is a nominal data? Okay, so I will answer that later on. Okay, so let's proceed now on the second scale or level of measurement. So we have ordinal scale or ordinal level. So ordinal scale allows us to rank the levels of variable being studied and therefore involve quantitative comparison. So going back to the nominal data, the variable are qualitative and not quantitative. But here in ordinal data, the variable are quantitative. So we can compare the variables and rank them. So in ordinal scale or ordinal level, we can rank the data or the variable. So as you can see in this uh, picture, so hot, hotter, and then hottest. So there is a level or there is a rank of hotness, the hot scale. Okay, so this hot scale is an example of ordinal scale. Next, it is built upon nominal scale by assigning numbers to objects to reflect a rank or ordering on an attribute. So ordinal data came from nominal scale. However, there is an assignment of numbers to objects to reflect a rank or ordering based on the attribute or the characteristic of data. So mathematical calculations cannot be performed in ordinal data. It is only limited to comparison of variable or data, which is greater or which is lesser. So you cannot perform calculations in ordinal scale, but you can conduct comparison of variable or comparison of data. So let's have again this key characteristics of ordinal data. Number one, ordinal data is placed into some kind of order. So that is what I told you a while ago that ordinal scale or ordinal data can be ranked or order. Second, ordinal numbers only show sequence. So it only show the sequence or yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng data. Third, we can assign numbers to ordinal data. Fourth, we cannot do arithmetic with ordinal numbers or we cannot do calculations. We can only compare the data. Fifth, we don't know whether the differences between the values are equal or not. So we don't know the differences. We just know the level or the rank of data. So let's have these examples of ordinal data for more information. So the first, second, and third person in a competition is an example of ordinal data because there is a ranking, first, second, and third level in a competition. The economic status also represent an ordinal data because we have low, medium, and high economic status. The letter grades like A, B, C, and etc. represent an ordinal data because A represent the higher grade, B as the middle grade, C as the lower grade, and we also have F for the lowest grade. And for the educational level, we have elementary level, high school level, college graduate level, and postgraduate level. So that is ordered. And last example, customer level of satisfaction, such as 
satisfied, neutral, or dissatisfied. So, these are examples of ordinal data. So, if you have another examples that you want to share with us, you can write the other examples of ordinal data in the comment section of this video. Okay, so let's proceed to the third scale of measurement, the interval scale or the interval level. So, interval scale goes one step farther than ordinal measures. So, only one step farther from the ordinal measure. So, in addition to, in addition to this scale or in addition to placing numbers in order, the differences between numbers on an interval scale are equal in size. So, the only difference of ordinal data and interval data is the difference between the numbers. Remember that in ordinal data, we do not know if their differences are equal. However, they are ranked in increasing or in decreasing order. But in interval scale or level of measurement, the differences between the numbers or the data are equal or equal in size. For example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. So their difference or common difference is 10. So they are equal. So, in that case, the data becomes interval in scale or in level and not anymore an ordinal level. Okay? Next, because the intervals are equal, mathematical operations can be performed. Okay? So, again, let's compare ordinal scale and interval scale. So, going back to the ordinal scale, we cannot perform mathematical calculations. Simply, we can compare the numbers or the data or the variables, but we cannot conduct mathematical computations or any operations. While in interval scale, since the intervals are equal, we can make any mathematical operations or any mathematical calculations in this data. And there is, there is also a limitation or limitation of this interval scale because there is no true zero point. Meaning of no true zero point, zero has no meaning or uh, important meaning in interval scale. Okay, so let's have this characteristic. Again, interval data can be measured. And you can conduct any mathematical calculations in interval data. And in, it is also ordered because interval data are also ordinal data. And they are equidistant because the difference of the data or the numbers are equal. Again, sa example ko, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, the difference is 10. So, they are equidistant. However, in interval data, there is no meaningful zero or there is no true zero point. Or if there is zero, there is no meaning or important uh important uh, value of zero. There is no important value yung zero. So, there is no meaningful zero or there is no true zero point. So, next, I know, before we go to the next, let's have this interval data examples. So, we have the temperature so, as you can see, 10 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius, and 30 degrees Celsius. So, the difference is equal, 10 degrees Celsius. Because 30 degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius is 10 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius minus 10 degrees Celsius is also 10 degrees Celsius. So, the difference is 
equal. Next, we have time. Dates, um, acidity, and the IQ level. So, that is example of internal uh, interval level. So, as you can see, there is no true zero point or zero has no important meaning. IQ. Is there someone who has a uh, zero IQ level? So, do you think there is someone na may zero IQ level? I don't think so. So, there is no true zero point. Okay? Next. So, let's proceed to the last level or scale of measurement which is the ratio scale so ratio scale has all the properties of an interval scale including um, nominal and ordinal scale and this ratio scale or ratio level of measurement has an absolute zero point so as you can see in this figure i have here a weighing scale and this one, I have here zero. So, there is an absolute zero point or zero has an important meaning. Because when we say zero kilogram, so it means there is nothing which we are weighing. Okay? So, here, this is the... Uh, The initial, initial uh, unit, zero kilogram or zero. So, initial unit or initial kilogram. So, there is an absolute zero point. Because when we say zero kilogram, it means you are weighing nothing. Okay? Next, because of the true zero point, ratios can be calculated by dividing one by another so you can calculate the ratio by dividing one number by another number for example a person who completes a task in six minutes is twice as fast as a person who finished it in 12 minutes so to get the ratio here you will divide 12 by 6 so 12 divided by 6 minutes is equal to 2 or 2 minutes. So that is your ratio. Another example or examples of ratio scale of measurement are time, distance, weight, and height. Okay? So let's compare it or let's summarize all the levels or the scales of measurement. So again, the four levels of measurement are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio level. So, when we say nominal level or scale of measurement, the variables are categorized or named. While in ordinal level, the variables are named and they are being ordered. So, in ordinal level, there is a characteristic of nominal level. In interval level, the variables are named, ordered, and proportionate interval between variables. So, as you can see, interval level or scale of measurement has the characteristic of both nominal and ordinal level. And when we say ratio level, it contains all the characteristics of the three levels of measurement interval, ordinal, and nominal level. Because in ratio level, the variables are named, ordered, proportionate, and can accommodate absolute zero. Order is true zero point. Okay? So, that is how we summarize the four levels of measurement. So, data can be classified into two, qualitative or categorical, and quantitative or numerical. And under qualitative or categorical data, we have the nominal and the ordinal data. And under quantitative or numerical data, we have interval and ratio level of measurement. So, 
this will be the end of my discussion. So before I end this discussion, by the way, so can you give us more example of each level or scale of measurement? If yes, please don't forget to comment the examples or your additional examples of the different levels or scales of measurement. We will be happy to see your additional information. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned more about the four levels or skills of measurement. So thank you so much and goodbye everyone.